Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on everybody and welcome to College Football Predictions. We are here. It is almost time for college football to fully return in all of its glory. We are predicting every Big 12 matchup this week. Now, record predictions, we gave those on last week, I believe it was. But with that said, some things changed. So we're going to go ahead and give our predictions for week one with the Big 12. Tomorrow we'll have ACC predictions, then you'll have Big 10, and then SEC on Thursday. And then Friday we'll play some Madden franchise as well. This is the second video of the day. So if you guys are new to the channel, obviously like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. Let's go ahead, though, hop into these Big 12 conference predictions. Okay, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start off Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. This week, college football is kind of a mess because they have three days now where they can get games on because the NFL is not on. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Thursday games here for you guys. And then we'll talk Oklahoma or TCU and Stanford. And then we will get into the Saturday matchups as well. So, first starters. Friday or Thursday at 6 o'clock, you have New Hampshire going into UCF. I think UCF is going to win this game. Number one, it's at home for the Knights. But number two, it's against New Hampshire. And obviously, New Hampshire, one of those teams where it's a given. You should be able to beat this team. If you don't beat this team, then Gus Malzahn is definitely going to have some questions regarding their offense and KJ Jefferson and that whole group. But I think with the addition of KJ Jefferson, UCF is going to be just fine there on Thursday night. Now, moving on is Lindenwood at Kansas. This also should be an easy win for the number 22 ranked team in the country. Kansas is officially ranked this year, guys. Yes, they are ranked in the preseason poll at 22. Their offense looks really good. Their offense should be really good, and I am expecting them to come out cooking against this Lindenwood team as well. Then, at 7 o'clock on ESPN, the primetime game on Thursday night, Colorado hosting North Dakota State. A lot of questions regarding this Colorado team that I do not think we're going to get answers to in this game. Number one, what is Travis Hunter going to look like? Number two, how is the, the offensive line for Colorado going to look like. Obviously, Coach Prime in his press conferences does not like the offensive line. So, with that being said, what are they going to look like in 2024? Well, this is against North Dakota State. So, we're not going to be able to figure this one out in this game because, again, this is an FCS team that we're talking about. So, with that said, Colorado is going to come out and win this game. They're going to win it by a lot, but do not overreact to this game as well. Then finally, Utah hosting Southern Utah, the number 12th team in the nation. I believe they lost Cam Rising this year, but I still have them winning this game. Again, another FCS type team in which a lot of people are going to kind of overreact against this game. But Telling you guys right now, do not overreact if Utah or Colorado have big wins against these two FCS teams. It does not mean they are really, really good. It doesn't mean they're really bad, but it just means that they can beat the teams that they need to beat, and that is that. So, every home team on Thursday night should get a win in the Big 12. Let's talk Friday in the Big 12. Moving on to Friday, August 30th, one game in the Big 12. That is TCU at Stanford. I'm going to go with Stanford here. I think they are by far A, the better team. Number two, it is at home and it is a 9.30 start time. So that's going to affect TCU a lot. We saw it with Auburn when they went to Cal, how the late start time affected them as well. But the offense for Stanford is going to put up points. TCU's defense is not the greatest defense in the world. Stanford's offense, they're going to put up points. I believe that it is going to be a shootout in this game. But I have Stanford winning because, A, it's at home for them. And the 9.30 start time is definitely going to throw TCU off. So, with that said, I'm taking Stanford to open the season 1-0 against TCU. And then last but certainly not least, Saturday, August 31st. We are just going to run down the slate of games because there's a lot of games on Saturday. Of course, opening us... At 11 a.m. on Fox, the Big 12 kickoff game, I believe. Big 10. Also, it is Penn State going into West Virginia. I'm going to go with Penn State here. They're 
probably the most experienced Penn State team that this team is going to get. They're looking to get into the college football playoff this year. They are on a mission the last couple of years for Penn State and Drew Allard. They have been on the outside looking in this whole time. So with that being said, Penn State is going to get that job done against West Virginia and start the season off 1-0. Then you got South Dakota State and Oklahoma State, the 17th ranked in the country, Ollie Gordon. Back with Oklahoma State for another year. He's going to go off, and I think that Oklahoma State is going to win this game against South Dakota State at home as well. So, it should be a good way to see, hey, what's Ollie Gordon going to look like? What's the offense going to look like this year if you're an Oklahoma State fan? So, with that said, Penn State's going to get a win, then Oklahoma State is going to get a win as well. Then, you have... Townsend at Cincinnati, a very confusing game to pick, but I'm going to go Cincinnati. I have faith in them. They're a newcomer to the Big 12 this year. They are, this is their first time in the Big 12. They're hosting an FCS team. They should be able to get the job done as well. Then, North Dakota at Iowa State. What is this game going to be? This could be anybody's game, I believe. But I have to go with the home team and go with Iowa State here. UT Martin at Kansas State. I'm going to go with Kansas State. I said it in my predictions. Record predictions, I think Kansas State is going to go to the Big 12 title game this year. I'm firm on that as I believe they will win this game at home. Then you have Tarleton State at Baylor. I'm going to go with Baylor here. I think they're the better team in this one as well. UNLV at Houston. Give me Houston here. Albany Christian, Texas Tech. I'm going to go with Texas Tech. Southern Illinois at BYU. I'm going to go BYU, but I would not be shocked if Southern Illinois somehow upset BYU as well. Then you got New Mexico going into Arizona. New Mexico kind of already having a game under their belt as they played in Week 0, but I still got to go with the 21st ranked team in the country in Arizona. Also a newcomer to the Big 12 this year as well, along with BYU too. So with that said, the final game, Wyoming at Arizona State. Got to go with Arizona State. Again, another newcomer to the Big 12. The Big 12 has added like four or five different teams to replace the losses of Oklahoma and Texas. I think this conference is going to be very deep this year. I really do. To recap, Stanford going to get a win. Pitt State going to get a win. Oklahoma State's going to get a win. Cincinnati, Iowa State, Kansas State, Baylor, Houston, Texas Tech, BYU, Arizona, and Arizona State all are going to get a win. So on Saturday, expect all the home teams to get a win except for one, and that is West Virginia as they host to Penn State. But let's go ahead and close out this prediction. Anyway, of course, that is where I'm going to cut it for this second video of the day. Once again, if you have not already, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day, at least two videos a day for you guys. If I have time today, I will do a, some Alabama high school football reactions. But right now, currently, at least two videos. We are done for the day as well. I'm going to hop off this edit so you all can watch it on time tomorrow. ACC predictions and Baylor Bears Dynasty as well. So stay tuned for that one as well. That is where I'm going to hop off. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm signing off for today. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.